All right, Stormwater designers, welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions instructional videos. And now we're going to get into running this kinematic wave analysis with our EPA swim model that we've been building for the last three lessons. We have some free guides down below, including our hydrology terms guide and our WWHM free course. You can check those out if you're interested in learning more about our hydrology education. But let's get into running this scenario. So before analyzing the performance of our example drainage system, we need to set some options that determine how the analysis will be carried out. So it says to do this from the project browser, select the options category, the okay, options, and then click the uh, hand button here. So I'm going to look for that uh, options category. So from the project browser, oh, here we go. Okay, so we got options here. Let's click this. This will bring up our simulation options here. On the general page of the simulation options dialog that appears, select kinematic wave. We have that selected. That's the flow routing method. The flow unit should already be set to CFS. Um, I would assume, I think we set that, that set that up earlier. And the infiltration method to modified green amped, or this says just typical green amp. So we'll go with green amped there. The allow ponding option should be unchecked. Or is the allow pond unchecked? Good. On the dates page of the dialog, set the end analysis time to 12. Okay, so 12 on this one. So let's go back to zero here. Zero. On the time steps, on the time steps page, set the routing time step to 60 seconds. So we want it to be one hour then, or 60 seconds, excuse me. So 60 seconds, zero, six, zero. Oh, excuse me, okay. Right here, 60 seconds. Click OK. We've changed the defaults. OK, excellent. We are now ready to run the simulation. To do so, select Project, Run Simulation, or click the Lightning button here. So let's just click that. There's a problem run in the running sim the simulation. A status report will appear describing what errors occurred. Upon successful Successfully completing a run, there are numerous, numerous ways in which to view the results of the simulation. We will illustrate just a few. Okay, so run was unsuccessful. We need to figure out why. It says node J4 has more than one outlet link, and then adverse slope for conduit C3. Okay, so we need to figure out what happened um, with J4 here. With J4, well, status report again. J4 is more than one outlet link. Um, that is true. Then what else does it say? Adverse slope for conduit D3. Okay. Not sure exactly what that means. Okay, so I found out what, what's wrong with this conduit was linked. 
uh, incorrectly. It needs to go from J3 to J4. So I'm going to delete that. I want to add a conduit again. It should go this way. So I had the direction incorrect. Let's name it C3. Okay. Let's try running that again. There we go. Okay, so I got that routed correctly now, so it's just a little bit of troubleshooting there. Um, okay, negative 0.06% and negative 0.41%, not bad. The status report contains useful information about the quality of a simulation run, including a mass balance on rainfall, infiltration, evaporation, runoff, and inflow outflow for the conveyance system. To view the report, select report status or click the report button on the main toolbar. The system we just analyzed, the report indicates the quality of the simulation is quite good with negligible mass balance or continuity errors for both runoff and routing. If all data were entered correctly, so maybe I had one data point off. Also of the three inches of rain that fell in the study area, 1.75 infiltrated into the ground and essentially the remainder became runoff. So the summary report contains tables listing summary results for each subcatchment node and link in the drain system. Total rainfall, total runoff, and peak runoff for each subcatchment, peak depth, and the hours flooded for each node, and peak flow velocity and depth for each conduit are just some of the outcomes. So to view the summary report, select report summary, or select the report button. So I can go here, status report here, or summary results here, to check in on some of the reports there. And then we can also view results on the map. Um, the reports window has a drop-down list from which you'll select a particular report to view. For example, the node flooding summary table um, indicates there was internal flooding in the system at node J2. The conduit surcharge summary table shows that conduit C2 just downstream of node J2 is at full capacity and therefore appears to be slightly undersized. So, and then it describes more of the simulation. And so it describes more of the simulation results as well as design parameters such as subcatchment area, node invert elevation, and link maximum depth can be viewed in color-coded fashion in the study area map to view a particular variable in this fashion. Select the map page of the browser panel. panel. This should be map here somewhere. Select the variables to view for subcatchments, nodes, and links from the drop-down combo boxes in the themes panel. Okay, so select the map page of the browser panel. Well, we can also view legends here. Okay, so we can view different legends. Remove, to move a legend to another location, drag it with the left mouse button held down to change the color coding. So this is just different ways to analyze the project. And then we can, so there's quite a bit left in this one. So we're gonna continue to go through this tutorial in the next video. You should set up your project and follow along. Try to see if you can get it to run without any errors. Uh, took a few modifications from me to be able to do it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.